there's the push for immigration hitting a wall in the Senate. Multiple proposals failed to cross the 60-vote threshold yesterday that would have paved the way for final votes, including a bill backed by the White House. Senators Mike Rounds, Jeff Flake, and Chuck Schumer weighed in. Listen to this. The discussions that we had during this time were rather spirited. Lots of different ideas were discussed. And getting to this central point, trying to find a way to take care of the DACA kids and also to do border security, became the focus that we really thought we could find some common ground on. It's discouraging. Uh, it seems sometimes the only thing we can do on a bipartisan basis is spend a lot more money than we have. President Trump, since he created the problem by terminating DACA last August, has stood in the way of every single proposal that has had a chance of becoming law. Joining me right now is the White House Deputy Press Secretary, Hogan Gidley. Hogan, thanks very much for joining us. H how does the president feel about all of this? Surely you saw the op-ed in the journal today, President Miller's immigration veto. Look, it is so rich for Democrats to try and blame President Trump for causing this problem. Let's not forget, when Barack Obama was in the White House as president of the United States, Democrats had the House and a filibuster-proof Senate and a promise from the president that they would fix DACA within the first 100 days, and they didn't touch it. This president comes into office and tries to fix something for the first time in 40 years that's been broken in our immigration system. He generously offers 1.8 million dreamers, three times that of what Barack Obama offered, a pathway to citizenship, and on the backside of that, he wants border security with a wall, ending of the extended chain migration and also the ending of the visa lottery system. Very simple fix, very bipartisan, let's get it done. And for whatever reason, Democrats refuse to come on board with it. Yeah, I know, but I'm talking about, you know, this idea that the president's always talking about the art of the deal. Wasn't there a deal to be made yesterday? I mean, if you read this op-ed in the journal today, it's calling on the president to negotiate more with Congress. Here's what the editorial reads in part. Whatever happened to the art of the deal? If Mr. Trump isn't happy with everything in the Collins Rounds bill, why not engage and negotiate? Instead, he let the White House issue veto threats that scared some Republicans into voting, uh, and they voted no, but then it ended up producing failure. So what about that, Hogan? Well, if we want to deal, we've got to deal around what actually fixes the problem and what these bills do. And there have been several that have been proposed with quote-unquote bipartisan support, but those particular bills don't address the real issue and will put us right back in the same position that we're in now within five years, ten years down the road. Yes, they're going to talk about border security with a wall. Yes, they're going to talk about fixing DACA. However, no one's talking about interior enforcement and actually giving the tools needed to the border, security, uh, border patrol agents to be able to get people out of the country who come in here illegally. They will not close the loopholes that allow dangerous gang members from MS-13 coming into this country. It's, it's the middle that's the problem because it doesn't actually address how we got here in the first place. Oh. That's why the, the president, who is a master negotiator, but we still got a deadline that's out there at uh, the beginning of March, but it's got to get done between now and then. This is up to Congress. This is Congress's mess, mm. but the president has outlined a generous framework with both sides that should be able to get behind it. And for whatever reason, Democrats continue to stonewall the, the debate. But I will say one more thing, Maria, and that is this. It exposes Democrats for what they are. People who use politics and put that over people because, quite frankly, this is a fix for DACA that they've been dying for for a long time. And the president gave them three times what President Obama offered them. And for whatever reason, they still don't want it. Realistically speaking, when do you expect that we will see a deal on DACA? Will you do it before the March 5th deadline? Is it even possible at this point? I sure hope so. Right now, it seems like the, the, the Democrats are firmly entrenched in their position and won't bend on actually protecting the borders and, and for whatever uh, uh, causes or concerns that the American people have, they tend to throw those to the side and instead go to the mat and protect hundreds of thousands of people who are here illegally un and unlawfully as opposed to hundreds of millions of American uh, citizens. And I can't understand that for the life of me. This is what put them on the wrong side of the people during the Schumer shutdown. Yeah. And it seems like they're heading that way again. But, but it did, I mean, this the, the rounds uh, bill amendment, it, it did do a lot that the president wanted, including the authorizing of $25 billion over 10 years. Uh, that's a big victory for one of his main campaign promises, the, the, the wall funding, and yet you, you still couldn't get there. 
Well, that's because of the, the two other pillars. I mean, that's yeah. halfway there. I mean, that's a 50 percent uh, uh, move by the Democrats. We graciously gave them three times what they wanted mm. in the first place, and they won't budge yeah. on things like ending chain migration, where you can bring in your fourth and fifth and sixth cousin. Uh, it, it's incredible uh, the amount of stonewalling going on here by Democrats, and it actually exposes that they don't want to fix the problem. They're putting their donors over dreamers, and for the first time, they're on record now voting against a pathway to citizenship for 1.8 million people.